Hey, welcome back. I hope everybody is having a great Friday. And thank you so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today on the channel, guys, once again, we're doing, for now, we're going to do our final Origins versus Masters um, uh, verse here. We're going to be looking at Grizzlor. We'll be looking at his Origins version versus his Masters look. We'll take a look at the figures themselves, the weapons they come with, the artwork from both these amazing brands, and basically ask the question, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer his Origins version? Or do you prefer his Masters look? Okay. And of course, we've been doing this throughout the week. And I've been having a lot of fun. But, you know, this will be the, the final one for now. And I will, you know, at some point come back to this. Because I like doing this. I love, you know, doing these comparisons of, of, of these uh, iconic characters of this amazing brand. And seeing the different styles and looks of these figures, you know, from or, you know from the 5.5 scale to the more 7 inch, you know, taller scale, all right, and see the differences and stuff like that. So we will come back at some point to do this again, because I really, really like doing this. Now, of course, if you are new to my channel, or first time watching, I hope you will subscribe afterwards. I hope you'll hit that like button, and thank you so much for doing that. Hit that notification bell when you know upload new videos, and please share this video who has a passion and a love for collecting all things. Masters of the Universe. Without further ado, let's take a look at Grizzlor. And a couple of things to note, you know, before we get started in the review, um, we will also look at Grizzlor's um, uh, 85 version and his Claxus version too to compare and see the different styles and looks. Um, also, um, um, starting today, Friday, um, check out Walmart.com. I believe this Walmart Con is happening right now. I think that's the name of it. And I believe there's a couple pre-orders. Um, that you can hopefully get into and, and sign up for. Uh, one is, of course, at that 40th kind of a anniversary of the Filmation Master style of Skeletor. Um, I believe he went up for pre-order uh, today. Um, I think 8 o'clock is the earliest. Uh, and then I also believe that the Turtles of Grayskull, I might be wrong on this, um, uh, uh, King Hiss like slash Shredder uh, Origins version is also up for pre-order. So Skeletor, kind of like the He-Man, the, the, the 40th anniversary He-Man exclusive that we got, you know, a couple moons ago. I believe his the, the Skeletor version, Masters version, is up for pre-order starting today. So go check out Walmart.com, you know, get the app, and hopefully sign up and hopefully add him to your amazing Masters collection. And of course, also the King Hiss slash. Uh, Mutated Shredder, I believe, is also from Origins, is up for pre-order, too. That might, I might be wrong on that, but I, I heard that he will be there, too. All right? All right, so here we go, guys. Now, first, we have this version of Grizzlord. That he was, of course, a um, Mattel Creations exclusive. Okay. There he is. All right, there he is, right here. There's in the packaging right there. You have the new for 2022 right there. Master of the Universe. Grizzlor. There's a nice glamour shot of him right there in the front of the packaging. This was a war this was a Mattel Christmas exclusive. There he is. And it was, he was so popular, in fact, that if you remember, there was a made-to-order version of Grizzlor um, that came out. Alright. Um, which was the same exact figure. There is no difference between this figure here um, from the, the from the first um, Mattel Christmas exclusive to his uh, made-to-order version. And I was really kind of bummed out. I was really hoping that that made-to-order version um, was more of that dark variant, uh, which we did get, um, you know. Um, and I do have that version. It's like kind of in the background right there. Part of that four uh, horde pack right there. And I was really hoping, you know, we would have gotten that version um, um, in the uh, made-to-order. Uh, you know, something a little different, but it, it's the same exact figure. Packaging wise, artwork and everything, there's no difference. Comics the same. So I was kind of a little bit bummed about that, but still an amazing, don't get me wrong, a great iconic, iconic figure right there. Of course, you got the Horde sticker right there. All right, let's, let me turn on my little turntable here. I'm going to rotate here. Very, very cool. And of course, we have another, like, I mean, they're like, I mean, they're just teasing us right now. I mean, I know this, I mean, it came out in like in 2022, but look at that. We still have a nice glamour shot of like, you got Modulock here. And uh, like, I think that, I don't know that's, I don't think that's She-Ra. I, I might be She-Ra. 
Um, but you have, of course, once again, you have the Fright Zone. I mean, come on, Mattel. I mean, I really hope, you know, I mean, that at some point, you know, that we will get a Fright Zone playset slash, you know, um, a slime pit. That will be absolutely stellar. I mean, amazing. But beautiful, full artwork right here of him. There he is. Very cool. All right, of course, here is his 85 version. Right there. There he is, his look. Of course, Origins absolutely does amazing job capturing the look of these very cool, very vintage figures. And there's that dark variant right there. There he is, side to side, front to back. And a couple of fun facts, which, which I was not aware of. One was where, so, and it says right there on the bottom, the Grizzler briefly appeared in the background of the 87 film, The Princess Bride. So I kind of looked, I got to watch that again. I assume that it was probably when uh, Fred Savage, I remember it's Fred Savage that, you know, the grandfather goes and, you know, reads the story. And I, I only, it has to be, of course, I mean, it makes only, you know, the only sense that it's in his room somewhere, um, maybe on his bed stand or something like that. So yeah, I'm definitely going to watch that again, see if I can uh, find and point out, you know, and see if I can find Grizzlord in The Princess Bride right there. Of course, beautiful armor right there. And I only assume that might be Cobra Khan right there. Of course, there's, all the, there's the backdrop of the cross of the other figures that came out during that time frame. Kind of crazy. And look at it. There is that right, right there. Look at that. There is that, you know, um, Fright Zone. All right. And, of course, I do have that version, as you saw earlier. I do have that version right here in my Origins collection. All right. There he is. Unfortunately, he's, oops, he has sold out. But, you know what the crazy thing is? You know, if... You know, another place you could try also, I've noticed, um, when I go online, like when I go on the Walmart app and I just search like, you know, Masters of Universe Origins, of course, they, they give you everything that they possibly can find in Origins. And a lot of times you can find, you know, I mean, it's a little bit, you know, at a reasonable price. I mean, it depends on how much you want to pay. Um, you can find like, um, ex online, like, like Mattel Christie's exclusive on Walmart, like Rizzler, like Wondar. You know, um, like he Skeletor sometimes, even Frog Mongler is, you know, there. Even Master uh, exclusives you might be able to find, you know. So, you know, if you can't find it on eBay, you know, at a reasonable price, so I mean, you know, in your price range, um, try Walmart, you know, Walmart dot, you know, Walmart app and just type in Master of Universe Origins. And of course, we'll give you the list of all the figures they can find. And hopefully, you come across a figure. Then you might need in your collection. So a little, little, little hint there. A little helpful hint there. But here he is. There's old Grizzlord. Very, very cool. Full on crazy looking hair. He's got his battle axe. His little gray crossbow. I mean gray. His little green crossbow. But very cool. What an iconic, iconic figure. Very. There he is. Got the soft good fur. He got the... Of course, the horde symbol right there on his chest, right there. Very, very cool. I'm standing up here, he might fall now. All right, turn on the turn people. But very cool. Look at that. Must have for any collector. And I love the fact that they've, you know, I mean, this captured the look and feel of these of these uh, figures, um, you know, from the '80s line. Now, unfortunately, I don't believe that there was a Grizzler in the 2000X uh, line. I don't remember the Horde being a popular, being in the 2000X cartoon. Um, now, that might, you know, he might, they might be in the comics or something else. But as far as the, as the show is concerned, the 2000X cartoon, um, there was really not mention of the Horde. Only mention of the Horde that, that I can remember um, is Hordak, you know, being, uh, you know, Hoping kind of like uh, Skeletor had to have a do a deal with him after the acid got like Keldor, I guess, um, getting the acid thrown on his face and he's pretty much you know dying, and so he asks Hordak to spare his life and of course becomes his you know his slave to Hordak, and Hordak and the Horde pretty much are um, um, 
uh, in some some other dimension. Now, now that I mention it, I do think I believe that like they did some flashbacks episodes. I think when well, I could have been more of King Hiss, of King Grayskull, you know, and his queen and Battle Lion. I think, and I don't remember it was the Horde they were fighting against or King Hiss. I think I think it was King Hiss, uh, but I do remember like even King Hiss in the 2000 X cartoon was kind of kind of scared of Hordak um, on that show, but. Um, let me know if, if there was any mention of, of the Horde or like Grizzlor or any of the of those famous. I, I do remember there's no Shira for, in, in that uh, in that show, but unfortunately I don't think there was a 2000x uh, Grizzlor that came out. All right, but there is his origins look right there. All right, oh, as he falls down, uh -huh. that's okay. That's all right. We got it. All right. Now moving on to his uh, his masterverse look right here. All right here he is, and his now this look has more of that Prince of Power uh, look to him. Okay, so I'm going to pause it right here. This is the turntable. So and of course one of the last figures or last waves I believe before we got the more updated uh, uh, masterverse boxing. Um, Back in you know when we you know, back in the day, I can't remember what, exactly what wave this is. I would have to admit maybe wave ten, maybe nine. Um, I might be wrong on that. It might be nine or ten. Um, but of course you have the old you know thirty points of articulation, the old masters um, you know look right here. Big window box of you know Prince of Power version of Grizzlor comes with a battle axe, a couple extra pairs of hands, of course the crossbow. It's a green crossbow. But did I did I do wish was functional, but unfortunately, you know, like um, uh, Leech and other members of the Horde, uh, the the crossbow is not uh, functional. Okay, Princess of Power, Grizzlor, Mattel logo here. Very cool. Of course, a nice shot of him right there. Nice, beautiful artwork of Grizzlor. All right, looks so like he's got one of the Eternian uh, Palace Guard helmets right there. Back around. There he is. Nice, beautiful glamour shot of him. The, the hair henchman of the evil horde. Got some horde troopers right there. Of course, the cross so Alright. Of course, the other side, of, I believe this says Grizzlor. Yeah. So, very cool. Very cool. And icon another iconic look of Grizzlor. Alright. And here he is. Right here. All right, not too crazy like his origins version. Um, very simple, but I like that. Um, and believe it or not, guys, this is probably one of the rare times for me personally. Um, even though the the origins version is an iconic look, I do prefer this version of of Grizzlor over for now. I mean, like it's like I said, it could change, you know. But I do like the simplicity. I I love the the Princess of Power look of Grizzlor over the more of the Mattel. Um, version of the origins version of, of Grizzlor. It's simple, but I do like this. All right, because the first time I saw Grizzlor is on the cartoon of the Princess of Power cartoon, and he looked like this, not like the uh, hairy version of him, but still an iconic look. But I do prefer this version personally out of the two. This is my favorite version of Grizzlor right here. Um, crazy, yeah, I know, <laughs> but it's it's it, it works for me. I love it. I love the soft good. Um, you know, um, chest plate right here. Now, the one thing I would wouldn't mind if they would have like given us real like fur on the hair, um, mang right here. Um, that they didn't do that, but I really wish they did. Um, that's still you know, but still, it's still an amazing figure. I do prefer this version of Grizzlor right here. There he is. All right, and I do believe at some point, you know, I mean, at some point we're gonna probably get this version of Grizzlor. In that cartoon collection, Princess of Power Origins line, at some point. I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, it's just a matter of time. So, I cannot wait to get that version of Grizzlor in Origins form. Uh, more of the Princess of Power look. All right. But I'm going to turn the turntable back on here so you can just look at him. You know what? I'm going to put the uh, thing right here. Right, so very cool. But yes, but definitely for me, you know, right now for me, I do prefer his master's version over his origins look. Crazy, I know, but I just like the the, the look of him because, like I said, the first time I I remember seeing Grizzlor was a part of the 
Princess of Power cartoon, and he looked like this. So, I mean, but I, but I could change at any time. I mean, I can always go back and forth. Like, these are two iconic, iconic brands and two iconic versions of Grizzlor. So let me know in the comments below, um, what is your favorite version of Grizzlor? Do you prefer his Origins look, or do you prefer more of his Princess of Power Masters uh, look? And I, like I said, I do believe at some point, I mean, it's not been confirmed that we're getting a Princess of Power Origins line, but with her, well, she was 40th anniversary and the cartoon collection coming, even the packaging has more of that Princess of Power feel, kind of. Um, I have no doubt at some point we will get a Grizzlor like this in Origins for the cartoon collection. So let me know in the comments below. And also, here is his um, classic version. Came out in 2010. Really fast, guys. There he is. Comes with a lot of weapons here. All right. Pause that for another fun factoid right there. And I love his backpack right here. I love the fact that with this version of Grizzlar, they gave you a lot of more options for weapons. I like that. Alright. Let me get the other Grizzlar up and so you can see the two right here. Different styles and looks. It would be kind of crazy if we got this version, you know, and I'm sure we, I mean, we'll get that version of in the in the cartoon collection, but more of the dark variant skin tone. Um, like, I think that would be kind of very unique and very different and very cool. But I do hope at some point we will get a single carded dark variant of this version of Grizzlor for us in the collection. I mean, oops, that's if thing falls down. That's okay. That's okay. Hang on, everybody. Let me see if I can get it back up here. Standing up here. That's okay. Oh. That's all right. That's okay. He might, fall. he might fall again, but that's okay. There we go. I think we're good, guys. All right. But once again, guys, let me know in the comments below. You know your thoughts and feelings about Grizzlor. What was your favorite version growing up for over 40 years of this amazing product? Like I said, it could be the Vintage version. could be his Classics version or Masterverse or, of course, Origins. All right. I'd like to take the time now, of course, to thank my subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. It's been a lot of fun doing this throughout the couple, past couple of days. And like I said, I will come back to doing this. I love doing these, like, these comparison videos taking, the, taking a, a, an iconic figure from both brands and comparing them, looking at them, the different styles and feel and looks and weapons and artwork um, from these from this amazing, amazing brand. And of course, I'm, I'm hoping, if you hit that notification bell, I am, I am hoping that by Friday night or Saturday morning, I will have my Masterverse uh, New Eternia exclusive uh, Horror Trooper in my hands to at least review on the channel. Not unbox yet, because I do believe that, um, I just checked the website, and I do think that he is still up for sale. So I sh should have no problem getting a second version, hopefully. Um, but we will hopefully look at him on, hopefully Saturday, or not. So, you know, anything like, I can do anything with Master of the Universe, Superstars, you know, uh, CGI line, Tudor's Grayskull, um, you know it. Yeah, yeah. So I hope you guys will join me for that, okay? Um, so I hope you guys have a great Friday and I'll see you guys on Saturday. Take care and have a good one, everybody.